start out day six on a little bit of a side quest. <laughs> I apparently passed a waterfall yesterday I didn't know about. And it's only 3k out of town. And so I figured extra 6k to today isn't the worst thing in the world. Plus I was able to leave my main backpack at the Jeet. So when you're not walking around with the extra 13 kilos that you're used to, it almost feels like you're floating. <laughs> Right behind the waterfall, also what the French people call the Cascade. So I had a little bit too much fun at the waterfall earlier, and I'm running a bit behind, so I'm going to have to move it for these 16 kilometers to some chalet. I don't know, I feel like a French person is going to eventually be watching this video and they're going to be like, he's butchering every town's name and I apologize but trying <laughs> so uh, I don't know if you've noticed as I've walked sometimes I've walked with people and sometimes I've walked alone and that's one of the cooler aspects of the Camino is you can kind of walk along and meet people and talk maybe for a few minutes or sometimes for a couple days if you guys are walking at the same pace and if a person wants to take a rest day, they stay behind, or if they want to go to the next city and you don't feel like going further, they go further. And then sometimes you see them a couple days later and it's kind of cool hearing what they experienced in the journey. And then sometimes you also never see them again. So, But also what's kind of nice is you can also just walk alone and listen to music all day and enjoy the scenery. All part of the community. <laughs> 